Our next guest has been with us before. Here's a uh, lovely actress who's co-star of NBC's television series Remington Steel, which will be seen at a new time starting January the 10th, Tuesday nights from 10 to 11. Would you welcome, please, Stephanie Zimbalist. <laughs> I guess we can still say Happy New Year. It's only the what, second, third? The third? That's right. I thought you meant the third New Year. Yes. It's yeah. The third how of January. are you? Yeah. I'm very well. How are you? I've survived the holidays. Yes. Are you glad they're over? Do you get to. Uh, you know, people get, and psychologists, I read something in the Times the other day that said the holiday depression is highly overrated, that people should not get depressed. But a lot of people do, for some reason. Well, yeah. It's, it's really, I think it's a. Uh, at least from the commercial end, it's, it should mm -hmm. be geared toward children, you know? Yeah. And we run around trying to buy lavish gifts for each other, for people that you barely know half mm -hmm. the time. And, and you're, 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 the person you love most in the world gives you some little thing, and you give them something, and you <laughs> buy some incredible thing for... You know what a lot of people are doing in the last few years? Which I, I, they, they send a letter or a card to somebody saying, I'm not exchanging gifts with, say, friends or business associates, but they make a donation to some particular charity and then exchange a gift with just their children and, the, and their family. And yes, let the rest absolutely. of it go. I, I received a letter from a from a charity saying thank you so much for your donation. Yeah. So and so has sent you this sent this lovely gift, and I was very flattered. I thought I'd done my good deed. For you them. get a lot of things you don't need. I got a digital toilet seat one year. <laughs> <laughs> Times I up. And yes, yes, you just. <laughs> Times up. Yes. <laughs> but you do. You get it. And people are schlepping stuff back to exchange. So I, I think you're right. Yeah. How about New Year's? What did you do New Year's? Oh, it was very quiet. I just made a uh, pasta. I got a pasta machine. So I made pasta. <laughs> I put it in the water and I put it in. It was this big and it came out this big. <laughs> what, the machine? I no, the, the, <laughs> the machine uh, The machine survived. I, I didn't, though. I, I made millet pasta. Oh. Very odd. From scratch, you mean? You... From scratch. It was wonderful. It was lots of fun. Yeah. Drank lots of champagne. Yeah. But it was very quiet. I like a quiet New Year's. I think most people do. This forced joviality can, you know... It is that. There's something about putting on a, a, one of those things in your mouth that... Uh, that <laughs> Serpent's whatever, tongue. Whatever they call those, <laughs> and a party hat, and pretending to be, uh, and then at New Year's, running around kissing a lot of strangers. Did you make any resolutions? Be Honestly? Yeah. No, not really. No? Yeah. There's, do you? Do you, you know, I picture a year. I have a, a, a picture in my head what a year is like, and it's... It's sort of like a cylinder, and it, it's, it's up at January and down at December, and I don't know how it gets from December to January, because I, I really think of it as a scoop thing, and somehow J December follows into January, but it's this... Do you have a picture for it? Do you think of... No, but you sound a lot like Buckminster Fuller. To <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, I don't have... I, I don't picture a year. Maybe sort of as a box. I've always thought of it as kind of... <laughs> A box with a four A box seasons. with bowl games at either end. <laughs> That's all. Just How about know. you? Did you make some? Uh... I made some. I made one that's to, uh, to read a book every two weeks, to try to that's read a book. That's a good book. resolution. I don't know why I picked on two weeks. I just thought if I said a book a month, that doesn't sound very much. You know, 12 yeah. books a year. That sounds like considering... the club, you know. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> and uh, to read the Bible every day. That's another good. one. And another one is more vanity-oriented. It's, you know, just to take care of myself and eat the right things. Yeah. Just that kind of stuff. Are you a health addict? No, California is really. probably the most, I don't want to say notorious, but uh, they're almost overdoing the, the way to look. You know, the accent oh, that I you must so. be in perfect shape or you're, you're not going to ever have a, a nice social life or meet anybody. And it's, uh, that can and be a it's also demanding. very youth-oriented as well. Yeah, does that bother you? Well, not really. I... I no, but you're young and pretty. I mean, does, does the fact that you're going to grow old, if things go well, bother you? <laughs> no, if things go well, if that's things go the, well, you'll grow, grow old. old. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, I look forward to it. Because yeah, uh, women usually resent men. They say, oh, men get character lines. Right? Yes, and if, that's if right. If women, women get them, they say, we're, we're get getting wrinkles. wrinkles. Yeah. No, it's something I look forward to. It's, I, uh, Working with people who have, who have worked over the years, it's much more fun because they're well-seasoned and, and they're better and That's better. That's a nice and way to put it, well-seasoned. Well-seasoned. Yeah. Time and sage. What would you like <laughs> to be doing 20 years from now, if you just make a prediction? I don't, I just, I would like to be content and, 
at peace? Yeah. I'd like to be alive. Alive would be nice? I think, you know, just nice. starting there. Yeah. It's a funny thing, you know, about, about the new year, the way people always say best wishes for the new year, or I hope, I hope great things for you, or I hope the new year brings you. As if, as if any day or any, any year is ever going to bring you anything. Right. Because it's all up to you. That's true. You know, every day is up to you and every minute. But it's always, you always, you know, you sign best wishes, health, and yeah. all these wonderful things. Oh, maybe we things. could make us some different salutations. Uh, yeah. Like, Go uh, for the jounce or something. Yeah. Go for Give the... way to your own madness. <laughs> <laughs> Give way to your own madness. <laughs> I asked him about his phobia. I understand you are a compulsive... Uh, I'm very sick. ...neatness person. I'm very neat, yeah. I'm very tidy. Couldn't tell from the shirt, but I am very tidy. Yeah. In, in what way? Well, I have a theory that if, if, you, if you make piles of everything, that's tidiness. So I'll have, you know, papers all over the house, and I'll organize it into piles, and it feels as if I've... Do the piles mean anything, or are they just... Sometimes they mean things, and sometimes they don't. They're just, they're just artistic devices all over the house. Yeah. A pile of papers here, a 10-2 pending, yeah. file pile, letter pile. Do you do this CD with pile. everything in your life? I do. I'll, I'll sit here, and I'll go like this, and I'll... Make sure that they're arranged. Yeah, yeah. That looks pretty good, I think. Yeah, just like that. I mean, the symmetry of things you like. What does that mean? What? You have you have erasers at both ends of this. Yeah. Just madness. Just so they bounce better. Yeah, so you can sit here and play and <laughs> never, never write with them. There's, a, there's something there's about compulsive neatness, though, that they say, I don't know whether there's a good habit or not. Well, people, they, they say that people with minds that are scattered, if they, if they operate everything, if their clothes are lined up and they, they line everything up outside, it helps them inside. Yeah. And vice versa is true. The people with messy desks usually are very organized in their head. I don't know if that's true really? or not. Yeah. I didn't know that. All right. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Stay with us. <laughs> 